우리가 전문이지 지원 Pork, let's go, man. Kek. Oh, the poses. That's a five-man pose right there. Holy shit. They're not fucking around. Look at this Fiego go wild now. That Zomaker gonna take down his GA. He's got a res, yeah. And the poke is here. It's still here for the side of Dom on the valley. Volleys, rather, are coming out from the ass. And Faker says, okay, guys, let's just go and burst down the dragon. They've got oh. control words. They can control this vision and this choke point. The poke comes in, but again, at the same time, it's like you're on the opposite side of this poke. They're just trying to get the smite down on time and with it coming in, but Showmaker has the damage and he takes out two, but the Infernal Soul will go the way of T1. Can Owner and Kana salvage it? No! Dom1 wins the fight and they're teleporting to try to end the game. 36 minutes in, they win a fight. Two risky plays off Realm Warps back to back from T1 backfire. What a tragic way to go out. They had such a lead in this game. It started to fade. They lost vision control. Then they made two Realm Warp plays that did not pay off. And it looks after giving up the Baron, they don't have any split pushing pressure. They're just going to go in a straight 5v5 against C1. That's not necessarily what you're looking for. As here comes the Gwen. Kana gets in there. Going to have a very nicely timed stopwatch. It's now Karrion trying to stun that backline. And Gwen does her job, but look at Showmaker. He's going insane, but it doesn't matter as Teddy is full health as well. And he's trying to carry this one from the backline. Khan is gigantic. But Teddy trying to keep him at range here. The stopwatch is going to happen. It's a kill! Ah, let's go! I did that because everybody who's asleep, if they hurt, it's a guild and heard me yell excitingly, they think that I got the pin kill. So they would want to watch. Or anybody who's currently alt tabbed heard pin kill, they hear that and then me yell, they think I got it. It's a big D bitch. Maybe Canyon uh, on the top side of the map overextends. Now I think what happens is, oh no, never mind. I was like, maybe he tried to teleport and no, they try to dive the fat cannon. Um, unsurprisingly, it doesn't work out very well. Under turret, he is able to slicing mails from both of them. This was a huge mistake. And that's coming from the, the top side that has been carrying Domon Kia for the first two games. Fortunately for Domon Kia, T1 in an attempt to try and punish overextend crucially. Ghost doesn't actually die thanks to a beautiful save that comes up from Barrel with the attractive battle Magnet Storm. And now you can see the value that Callista can have in these extended skirmishes where people aren't actually able to lock her down in the single combo. And a lot of gold going over the dumb one that didn't need to be given. Yeah, if you end up dying. Oh, here so, we go again. So critical. Here's the de deep teleport. Yeah, so they go on to closer initially, and he's barely able to get out of there. On the on the retreat, look at his health. Look at who he's health. Look at the health bars here. The shockwave catching FBI. Fudge flashes in, but cannot finish him off as they all turn immediately onto him. Then Blabber, who he is blocking for FBI there to absorb the Q, and he survives as Primer well. Thought. Anyway, they have Herald, and they're forcing Jace yeah. off his own tower, so it's an absolute tragedy in top lane. This guy yeah, could get yeah. though, but Showmaker's there to cover. Faker has no TP. This could be really bad if they don't land their combo. Oh, yes, good secure. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he got knocked into the arrow! The arrow! Look at the arrow! How did that even happen? It's but an absolute the worst tragedy. Part is Faker gets to clean up though, and that's not good for for that one. Rice. Again, Khan's gonna get flash stunned, and he will flash away from this one. But is there enough damage? As he's trying to just kite this one out, he knocks him into the arrow. Are you kidding me? And that's enough to keep him safe. Faker will be able to secure that kill eventually. You'd have to imagine, and there it does go. But. Into Blippo, oh. gonna use the shackles. Blippo already on the way out. Ooh, this time it works. Safety. That's true. 
no pauses today. We know about the weird rise alt interactions now. He was clicking towards it. So he got taken out, and now because Rogue <laughs> invests The funny thing about that is I thought he was actually outside the yeah, yeah. It looked like, like his back foot was outside. Where you are. It's about where you click. Uh, and it's spiritually where you uh, want to be. My absolute favorite part has been the the calculated plays that have been happening. I like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh. He got the wave. Tempo ulti. Tempo ulti. Jumping, flexing, uh -oh. I just want to. Something to me, oh. But what's on my best life? Yeah. To, uh, the world championship here so a, a pretty imbalanced team in that regard I want to see how crazy the fans go for these because all three European teams have French players this is gonna play and we know the French crowds can be very passionate hey, 
désormais pour leur grand début sur la scène internationale, le deuxième site de l'Europe, Age to K. You know, we spoke about SK not too long ago. I'm looking at Ryu here on this team. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like, you know, when you hear H2K coming to the world stage and I think of SK and they're in the same group, you know, this is going to be a pretty fantastic show now. Uh, it's definitely fun for me to see again, especially since uh, Ryu on the KT Bullets played that best of five against SKT, which is still... Except for Doonby for some reason. He never has a bad game. As Doonby goes golden again, we didn't see that, but missing might have had a hook ready and charged as he sits around the top side. I mean, it's a completed sign. It's not a stopwatch or anything. Three-man core coming out stronger because we need to remember that this three-man core has been playing together for a long time. They've seen yep. the highest of highs together to where WE's, I'd say, team holistically is still pretty young. This five-man only being together for this year, so not not able to match FPX in that experience department, but still, again, doing very what? well so far in playoffs. Just this match. What reaction time? Oh my that was God! Just, that was just golden. Literally. Wait, what? Did he have vision? Wait, hold on. For this year. Play on the dis double distortion. Play on the double distortion is huge here. Accorded now that Nuggery's joined the play. The Phoenix rises again. Okay, Nuggery is actually not in thing. Oh my god, calm down, buddy. Calm down, Nuggery. Jesus. <laughs> Flash ult to just the blitz. Oh my lord. He's moving aggressively, looking to start these picks off, and it keeps working. The flay on the double distortion is huge here. If that damage lands, then I think WE can win the fight. Double TP. Actually, I don't think breathe even TP. Thank mm -hmm. you.